Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hi, it's Mike Matthews. If you enjoyed the Super Secret Sunday show from yesterday, today you'll enjoy the Super Short, Short, Short Monday show today because, well, let's just say we've got a radio celebrity in the building today and I... My time got sucked away from me, but that's what happens when I have to do my job. It's 1,457 is the episode 1457. Mike's Daily Podcast. And nothing... 14... I'm sorry, 1547. 1547. Mike's Daily Podcast. This is the show where I am all flustered. Hey, I wouldn't drink three Diet Cokes to get me going to do this show for you folks. I don't need that much stuff to get this mouth moving. In fact, I think all that fake stuff in you, that fake uh, saccharin stuff, isn't good for you. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, what do they sweeten it now? Splenda? I don't know, but Diet Coke once in a while, but three in the morning? Mike's. Every morning, that's not good. Daily hey, I Podcast. was talking with Stormy Phoenix yeah. yesterday discussing the, the band Manchester Orchestra and their song called Gold, which is my favorite right now. And she goes, oh, no, that's not a good band. But Stormy Phoenix prefers bands where the lead singers are thin, good-looking, sort of feminine-ish guys that are the lead singers of these bands that have a lot of tattoos, you know, like uh, this guy just walked in. How many tattoos do you have, you rock star, feminine, indie pop rock guy? Um, I've got them all up and down my back and some elsewhere. Thank you. Mike Matthews, it's me, Shelly Shuhart. I'm not a rock singer guy. Oh, okay. Do you like rock singer guys that are feminine? Yeah, they're okay. Look who else walked in. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. That many Diet Cokes can kill a polar bear. Mm-hmm. That's good to know, John Deere. But- That's basically all I got today was that. And that the Grammys, Bruno Mars won a whole bunch. Uh, Let's see. Childish Gambino lost. Childish Gambino lost a lot. Wow, he lost a lot. That's, uh, what's his name? Glover's son. The guy from Lethal Weapon. And here's today's podcast picture. Oh, well, you know, that's podcast picture today. Is from Hawaii, which is where I'd like to be right now, Oahu. And yes, that's the place where I went eight years ago with my then wife, and we had a great time, except for the fact that it just Hawaii, you know, you you're a you're there on the island and it's beautiful and and then you're like, wait a minute, I'm a tourist and everybody here hates me. But that's all right. Trump to test his base with a bipartisan call in a State of the Union speech. Did you know? Yes, he's going to ask for bipartisanship. That's apparently what they say for tomorrow, his big speech. It's his best chance to win over the American public to his nationalist agenda ahead of midterm elections. That will be a referendum on his tumultuous administration, says Bloomberg. Bloom and away, Bloomberg. Uh, Trump Jr. Oh, what's this? At least one member of the Trump administration wasn't laughing at a skit invoking Hillary Clinton. Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, tweeted her disapproval over a skit involving the former presidential candidate auditioning to perform the audio version of Michael Wolff's bombshell book about President Donald Trump. The Fire and Fury one we talked about. Uh, I've always loved the Grammys, but to have artists read Fire and Fury book killed it. Don't ruin great music with trash. Some of us love music without politics thrown in. Clinton wrapped up the skit that had musicians auditioning to read the audio version of Wolf's book, Fire and Fury, inside the Trump White House. Oh, I guess it was a joke. James Corden, when he hosts anything, has to have a bunch of jokes in it, like the Grammys. Uh, the the Oscars, right? No, he's only done the Grammys. He's a comedian. 
A Republican outside group raised three thirty one point six million dollars, which is the record amount for a midterm. So they are getting prepared for the big midterm elections going on this year. And that's about it. So next show we're going to have that's we're pretty much wrapped up because we got this celebrity radio person in the building and. As we go outside a cafe anyway, where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Next show, it's going to be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Have a great day. Oh, if you want more uh, Mike's Daily Podcast, listen to the last one. It was like almost 30 minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're sending that segment straight to the Smithsonian Institute. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.